Hey everyone, thank you for watching today's video. I am pretty excited to do. It's going to be a collab video with my friend Angelica and I am so excited to do this with her. We have been talking forever about what kind of collab we could do. And we both really wanted to do something where we are kind of switching makeup looks. Angelica, if you're not familiar with her, of course, she will be linked in my description box down below. I've done a group collab with her as well. Um, I featured her in my newsletter. Also, so she was my channel shout out a couple months back in my makeup monthly but she is known for her really vibrant, colorful makeup looks. I, as well, am known for my colorful makeup looks. I might be known more for my neutral looks, though, so I, nah, I mean, it's kind of a toss-up, but we decided we really wanted to do something where we were going to kind of switch for each other, but we actually decided that we were going to also pick out each other's eyeshadow shades and also each other's lip color. So that is what we are doing today. I'm going to be attempting to create a colorful makeup look based on some shades that Angelica chose for me. And then she is going to be doing the same video on her channel and she has some shades that I chose out for her and she's going to be creating her own makeup look. So of course her channel and her video will be linked down below. I'm so excited to do this collab with her. I love her makeup looks. They intimidate me and I I've been staring at these palettes for probably probably close to an hour trying to decide what the heck it is I'm going to do and I'm not sure yet but uh, clearly I need to get some eye makeup on this face. So without further ado, why don't we go ahead and get started. So I do have my face makeup done, I have my brows done, I just don't have my eyeshadows on or my lip color since those are both of the items that Angelica chose for me. So we're also going to be working out of the same three palettes. We have three Juvia's Place palettes here and then like I said we went through and picked out each other's shades. So we have the Saharan 2 by Juvia's Place which looks like this and in this palette Angelica chose out for me this kind of like, it's kind of like a light minty green kind of bluish green color and then also this matte shade right here um, which is kind of like a matte red I would say I've used that one before I haven't used the shimmer out of this one and then we also are going to be using the Doucet palette which I'm really excited about I just featured this in my latest makeup monthly and I put it in the favorite section so I really enjoy this palette the shade she picked out for me in here is this pink one here which I absolutely adore and then also this mint green one and then I'm looking at the little collage that she made for me, so I know. And then also in the Saharan palette, she chose out for me, I believe this is a matte black shade. So I have a black to work with as well. So I have five different shades to create an eye look with. Have some colors in there as well. All right, so now I just need to figure out what it is I'm gonna do. I'm a little nervous. Can you tell? Can you tell? So I'm going to start out in the Doucet palette and I'm gonna start out with this pink shade up here. I'm gonna use my Sigma E40. I'm going to blend that into the crease. I haven't grabbed out my ears yet, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm going to put that one into the crease. Let me zoom you in, what am I doing? Wait, so I am taking that shade and I'm going to blend it into the crease. Like I said, I've been staring at these shades for so long. I'm not great with, you know, coming up with looks myself. I watch a lot of tutorials. I look at a lot of photos, especially like on Instagram for inspiration because I just don't have that kind of like artistically creative mind to, to look at a palette and come up with these kind of looks. So it was, a, it was a challenge for me and I love that Angelica was like, I did something very basic for you. I'm like, I still can't figure it out, girl. Like, I still don't have it in me to figure that out. I'm also like, I'm super nervous for her because like I said, it's hard for me to come up with looks. So then when I was trying to come up with a look for someone else, I was like, oh my gosh, this is way more challenging than I thought. And we've been talking about collabing, like doing this collab for, I mean, I'm not, I'm going to say like two months. We've been bouncing ideas back and forth off each other and all these different things. And then we actually did a group collab, the dethroned makeup products. I'll have that one listed down below. So we did a group collab. So then we're like, okay, let's push our collab out just a little bit since we just did that big one. And then we came up with more ideas. And then it was like, we thought we had an idea. And then one of us would come back with like, what if we do this? <laughs> so it's been a long time coming, but I'm super excited to do this with her and just to try something new and to get outside of my comfort zone. I definitely, I definitely have my comfort zone. I definitely have the colors and the shades and the techniques that I love doing, but I like to I like to try and I like to experiment with different things sometimes. Um, a lot of times I. 
sometimes I find that I don't necessarily like love the end results which makes me a little bit uncomfortable but you know I like trying and I like practicing new things um, and she definitely inspires me to kind of like push the push the limits push the envelope and and see what I can do I'm gonna come into the Saharan 2 yeah and I'm gonna take the matte red I wish I had a better idea of what it is that like I'm hoping this final look <laughs> looks like because I'm really not sure at the moment but we're just gonna wing it I'm filming this like way early I'm filming this five days in advance just in case it doesn't go well and I can refilm it and it's also super dark I do have my ring light on so if my lighting looks crazy I was really bummed I looked at our weather for the week and it's all snow rain dreary dark so I'm like oh man you're just gonna have to bust the ring light out and just go with it so sorry if the lighting is crazy but I'm just taking my uh, Sigma E45 and I'm just kind of placing that on the outer part of the eye as well because it kind of has this pink this pinkiness to it also it looks really it looks like a deep like brown red in the in the palette but it definitely is coming across as more pink on the eyes We'll have to see how that works. Um, but I'm just going to kind of blend it into the outer part of the eye. But like I was saying, so like I'm really worried for her look because I don't know how I did putting colors together. I don't know if they're going to make any sense. Like, I just don't know. So, I mean, she has, like, she has talent. Like, I can see something and I'm fairly decent at recreating it. But, like, she can come up with stuff, like, on her own and she does really good. Like, she, she has talent in that area for sure. So I'm sure that she'll be able to come up with something. But if people are like, oh, I wouldn't really have put those colors together. Or like, why'd you pick that color instead of that color? Yeah, that's on me. That's not on her. Don't blame her. That's on me. <laughs> that's on me because that was, that was a quite struggle for me. This shade actually had quite a bit of fallout onto my lower lash line. But I'm just going to kind of, like, sweep it along the lower lash line. I wasn't planning on doing that. But there was actually quite a bit of fallout there. So we're just going to look... We're just going to look a little crazy for a while. Maybe maybe until the end. I don't really know. Um, but then I'm just going to do the same thing on the other eye. I wasn't planning on putting the pink down there. But there was so much fallout that to sweep it away. Since I already do have my face makeup done. To sweep it away probably would have made it more of a disaster than anything. So that's just what we're going to do there. So I'm just doing the same thing on the other eye. That is really, really pink. I really do. I, hmm. I thought I've used that shade before. Maybe I just swatched it because there, I mean, it was definitely played with, but I don't remember it being quite this vibrant of a pink. And then again, the same thing. I'm just going to kind of lightly run that brush on the lower lash line and bring that pink down there as well. Okay, so I'm going to stay in this palette and I'm going to grab out the shimmer shade that she chose for me here. I haven't used this shade yet, so we shall see how it goes. I'm using the Sigma E55 and I did spray it with some setting spray to make my brush damp because that is how I prefer to apply shimmers. That's really pretty. Woo! It is definitely really pretty. I was thinking of maybe doing the other shimmer on the lower lash line. That's kind of where my thought was going. I was going to maybe do like both on the upper, but then I was like, no, I, I, I feel like I want some color and some shimmer on the lower lash line as well. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see how this turns out. Oh my goodness. I love that color though. Dang. It looks really cool with the pink, I think, so far. I feel like it looks pretty good. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my E40 and blend those so I still need to use the black from the Saharan palette and I'm like struggling to figure out where to put that because I don't use black shadows a ton I thought about creating a wing but I very rarely do that with powder shadows and I feel like when I do it it just doesn't look as good as I want it to so I think I'm going to put it on the lower lash line so I'm gonna grab the Morphe E43 and I'm going to push that onto the lower lash line. Okay, and then I think before I go any farther, I'm going to apply some false lashes because I know I definitely want, when I think of like really colorful looks, I definitely need lashes to like tie it all together. So I'm going to put some lashes on and then we're going to come back. I think I still have, do I just have one more shade that I have to use, that blue? Um, so we're going to find, we're going to find a spot to put that. 
finish off this eye look. Okay, so I put my Pure Diva lashes on and then I have this mint green color here in the Doucet palette to use. And I really, like my initial thought was to put it on my lower lash line for some shimmer and like sparkle down there. So let me see what that looks like. This is the Sigma Smudge Brush, the E21. It's just like a really tiny brush. So I'm just gonna dip into that and then kind of smudge that over the matte black shade. That matte black is kind of like a, I don't know if it's fully black. It's kind of also like a forest green at the same time, like a really dark green, light black type of shade, if that makes any sense. Okay, I actually just went ahead and sprayed this brush as well because it wasn't uh, showing up as much as I would like. So there we go, there's the, there's the shimmer that I was hoping for. So I'm just gonna smudge that on the lower lash line. And I'm gonna kind of like flick it out over here just to, I don't know, do something fun. <laughs> Do some fun, so kind of flick it out at this outer part of my eye. I feel like on this eye, I still have pink peeking through, but like this eye really doesn't have any of that pink. So that was in the Saharan 2. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of that out of the Saharan 2. Oops, this eye. And I don't know, kind of smudge it along below here to try to match up the other eye. It's like this eye has a lot of pink. This eye, not as much. Okay, so I decided to kind of like wrap it all the way around the lower lash line and then kind of sandwich that green like a little flick that I have going on kind of like sandwich that in between the pink on top and the pink on the lower lash line not something I would normally do and I'm not sure how I necessarily feel about it but you know what we're trying to do something different get outside of the comfort zone with color so uh I don't know I feel like that makes sense somehow so I'm gonna keep my little smudge brush and go back into this kind of lighter shimmer shade and then I also want to put that on the inner part of the eye. Okay, so after that, that's gonna be it for the eyes. This is way out of my comfort zone. Like I felt like I was pretty much in my comfort zone for a while until I did this thing with the pink down here, which I feel like that was decided for me. Like with the fallout happened, that was basically decided for me because there was really gonna be no cute way I was gonna be able to wipe that off. But maybe it was for a reason to kind of push me a little bit further, you know, push me a little bit further. But that's gonna do it for the eye look. Let me just grab out the lipstick color that Angelica chose for me. Okay, for my lip color, she chose a shade from NARS and this is in Anna, which I love Anna. It's one of my favorite colors actually. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on. So after I got my lipstick shade on, that is going to do it for this kind of makeup challenge, this makeup swap with Angelica, letting her choose my shades, trying to do something outside of my norm, outside of my comfort zone. I feel like I achieved that with this eye look for sure. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you like the idea of it and the concept of it, if you have another YouTuber you would wanna see me do this one with, please do let me know in the comments as always, of course. Make sure you go check out Angelica's video as well. If you haven't subscribed to her channel, I think that you will really like her content and I'm so excited to watch her video and see the look that she created. So all of her links will be in my description box, of course. Let her know that I sent you. Angelica, thank you so much for choosing my shades for me. I hope I at least started to get outside, like I like put like a little foot outside of my comfort zone. I know this isn't the most extreme thing ever, but for me, I feel like it's a pretty good start. I feel like it's a pretty good start to doing some of these more colorful, adventurous looks and such, but thank you so much for choosing out my shades for me and I'm excited to watch your video, but that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it or you found it entertaining in some way. As always, if you guys did enjoy it, I hope that you'll give this video a thumbs up. I hope that you will also consider subscribing before you go and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.